Hi everybody, this is Mike the Man and my website is rhesusnegative.net. In the last three years I have been giving many pieces of information as far as I could find them about the rhesus negative blood factor. And there is one topic that doesn't go away. And that is of course rhesus negative pregnancies. Rhesus negative pregnancies are at the forefront of our discussion because this is what is of interest of women who are Rh negative. And the worries are mounting more and more about what's going to happen to the baby, what is my health going to look like, do I need a shot, when do I need a shot. Well, I have found out a few more things after I started my forum and have been able to do a little more research in regards to the subject matter. And the fact of the matter is that a lot of women are receiving the shot when they don't need it while other women receive it way too late. As a rule of thumb, you need the shot when your antibodies have been built and you have a rhesus negative child. Rhesus positive child, I'm sorry, when you have a rhesus positive child. When you have a rhesus negative child, you do not need it. So, when you are pregnant, or if you're planning to get pregnant, please test, get your partner tested, make sure what their blood type exactly is. If your partner is a true rhesus negative, and rhesus negative is really just a you know, common way to describe D negative. When you test negative for the D, and the D has been found in the rhesus monkey. So this is why D Positive or the negative have been termed as rhesus positive and rhesus negative. But there are some times that a blood test cannot be 100% accurate. And a person can be either a weak D or a partial D. A weak D means that you are actually D positive, which is rhesus positive, but the amount of D antigens is very, very low, very, very low. So in some blood tests, it can show up as being D negative, which is rhesus negative, when in reality you're rhesus positive. And when you're looking at the partial D, it means that you have a variation of the D antigen. It is a variation where the molecular structure is different, but you're still not a rhesus negative. If you are true D negative and your partner is a true D negative, there is zero chance that the child can be anything other than D negative because the D negative blood factor is recessive and you cannot pass on something that isn't there because you both test negative for it. Now, when are your antigens being built? That is the question, because when you know that, then you know if you need a shot or not. Let's say your partner is positive. If your partner is positive, but rhesus negative recessive, then there is a chance that you're lucky and the baby is rhesus negative just like you. But it doesn't have to be like that, especially if your partner is not rhesus negative recessive at all. And in some countries, you know, where there is a very low percentage of Rh negatives to begin with, you're going to have, the chances are going to be that the baby will be positive. Now, after you get your partner's blood type tested, you need to take an antibody screening. Because if your antibodies already exist, then even waiting a few weeks to get the shot can already destroy the fetus. It's called a chemical pregnancy. In a chemical pregnancy, which used to be considered somewhat of a mystery, a woman is pregnant and then a couple of weeks later she goes back to her checkup and realizes she's not pregnant. So what happened to the fetus? Well, in those cases the antibodies have already been built. And let me just mention something that a lot of people are not aware of, which is that as an Rh negative person, you can get one transfusion with Rh positive blood. 
So me, for example, I'm A negative. I can get an A positive person to transfuse blood to me. And it'll clean up by the time the antigens have been built and there will be not any problem. Only if a year later I decide to get another transfusion and I have Rh positive blood again, then I'll be in really, really big trouble. So if you don't have the antigens yet, you can carry an Rh positive fetus without any problems. And you're going to need afterwards the shot. Because if you have another pregnancy with an Rh positive child, then there's going to be a big problem. Now, why do some people already have the antigens? the antibodies built. Well, one thing you need to think about, if you are rhesus negative and your mother is rhesus positive, just like the antibodies can enter the, ch the Rh positive child through the placenta, so can the Rh positive blood of a mother enter the Rh negative baby. So if you are an Rh negative, and your mother's Rh positive, there is a big chance that you already have the antibodies. So in that case, you need to get an antibody screening done before you want to get pregnant. And when then you find out that you are actually having the antibodies already, you will need the anti-D shot before you get pregnant. Otherwise, there'll be harm done to the child. Thank you guys very much for watching. This is Mike DeMann. My website is www.resusnegative.net and my blood type dating website is www.datebytype.com. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time.